Traffic delays have become the classic metaphor for total frustration, and the dream of being able to flick a switch on your car and fly off out of the chaos on the roads must have been around almost since traffic jams began. Well, it's a little more complicated than just flicking a switch. But if you happen to have about £15,000 to spare, it need no longer be a dream. This aero car is the first German helicopter that's been built since the war. It's basically a flying chassis on which a variety of body types can be mounted, from a single-seat utility model to this highly sophisticated five-seater. Flying most helicopters is extremely complex because the engine that powers the rotor tends to force the body of the helicopter to spin around in the opposite direction. Normally, this force has to be counteracted by mounting a small propeller on the tail to push against it. Power is wasted and it makes the pilot's job a continuous balancing act. But flying the aero car is vastly easier because its double set of rotors turn in opposite directions. So any tendency to spin is automatically cancelled and no tail rotor is required. The design is so inherently stable that autopilot and remote control can for the first time be regarded as a practical possibility for helicopters. The same 260 horsepower piston engine that the aero car uses in flight is connected to the rear wheels by a hydraulic transmission to provide power on the ground. But the possibility of damaging the rotor blades limits its top speed to about 45 miles an hour. Anyone with an ordinary driving license can drive it as soon as they get used to the small lever that provides simple and direct steering and braking control on the road. This mobility makes the aero car an attractive proposition for hiring companies because it makes it possible to garage the aircraft inexpensively well away from the airport and moving it around is a job for a secretary rather than a highly skilled and highly expensive helicopter pilot. And the aero car is half the price of any other five-seat helicopter. Perhaps one day it might be cheap enough for all of us to helicopt out of an earthbound traffic jam into the wide open spaces of the air, as long as they last.